Teresa Snow shows us the new treatment that's helping a local broadcaster breathe easy. Focus on your health is sponsored by MU Healthcare. 24-year-old Ben Wilson says broadcasting is more than a job, it's a passion. But his health almost put an end to his on-screen dreams. Welcome to Battle High School, the place to be in Columbia tonight. Friday night lights are always a thrill for Ben Wilson. You're sitting there, you've got this field in front of you, and it's just like a blank canvas. By a very good quarterback. The play-by-play -play announcer calls games for several TV networks, but his job became more difficult about five years ago. That's when he developed EGPA, or Churg-Strauss syndrome, a rare autoimmune disease that causes rashes, sinus congestion, and severe eosinophilic asthma. There were multiple times doing games where I was having to catch my breath in between plays. I felt like I was gasping for air. Ben struggled with steroids and chemotherapies until Dr. Christine Franzese, an allergy specialist at MU Healthcare, offered something new, a biologic therapy called Nucala. Rather than the antibodies fighting a virus or a bacteria, like we're most familiar with thinking about antibodies, this antibody will stop a signal from happening or stop a chemical reaction from happening. An injection targets the inflammatory chemical in Ben's blood. It prevents that chemical from telling cells, particularly the eosinophils, to um, live forever and go out and do all this inflammatory stuff. It's down on the sideline and he will go the distance. For Ben, it's been a game changer. Since starting the new therapy, he's been able to wean off steroids completely. I really feel like for the first time I can Really do what I love, uninhibited, not worry about the other stuff. Returning his focus to the field. Leaping into the end zone is Coleman. Joining me now is Dr. Christine Frenzies, the director of allergy at MU Healthcare. And tell me more about Ben and the lifestyle changes he's seen since starting this treatment. So he's been able to reduce so much of his medications. And in addition, he was on oral prednisone for a very long time. He gained a lot of weight. He wasn't able to exercise. And since getting off all the steroids, he's lost weight. He feels so much better about himself. When I saw him in clinic, he was unrecognizable. Oh, good news. Good news. Now, he has a rare condition. But this drug is being used for people with a more common nasal condition. Tell me about that. So it's currently being studied for nasal polyps, which are associated with frequent sinus infections and allergies. And you're at an academic health system here at MU Healthcare. You have access to drugs and clinical trials that may not be available other places. Tell me a little bit about that. That's correct. So, for example, this medication used for Churg Strauss, I just spoke at a national conference. Many physicians weren't even aware that it could be used to treat that disease. In addition, for nasal polyps, other than surgery, there aren't a whole lot of medical options. So, for this trial, we've met a gentleman who had 10 sinus surgeries and still his polyps came back. And there's another woman who drives six hours from Kansas just to be a part of this trial because it's just not available closer to her. Well, we're glad you're here. We will not take breathing easy for granted. Definitely. Thank you very much. With Focus on Your Health, I'm Teresa Snow. Focus on Your Health has been sponsored by MU Healthcare.